It was amazing. It's for um, HBO, the Bessie Smith movie. Incredible movie. Queen Latifah was amazing. Monique, Tika Sumter. It's going to be incredible. Bessie Smith opened up so many doors for blues singers, for artists like myself, uh, her persistence, her drive, everything she was about during those segregation days continues to make me want to fight for my art and fight, you know, to get my rights as a black female artist, making music and owning myself, my own body, doing what I want to do as a woman. She's just a hero, so I'm just honored to be here. The journey has been amazing. You did give me my first interview in St. Kitts. I was so like, hi, I'm, I had never performed outside of America. So it was just incredible. And I'm still like, hi, hi. I love being an artist. I wouldn't trade it for the world. God bless you. Hey, what's up, New York? I'm all the way from Kansas by way of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, Janelle, tonight you performed for the first time outside yeah, the U.S. I sure did. And you did excellent. Oh, thank you. Now, thank you so much. My producer tell me that you look like James Brown, a little James <laughs> Brown on stage. Well, I love James Brown. James Brown and Elvis. Um, that's my competition. Your vision. How wide is it? It's very wide. I am a free individual. Slavery was abolished in 1865. Mm -hmm. So I'm free to do whatever I want to do. And I don't, I don't want God to take away my gift. So what I'm going to do is die trying to change the world through my art.